Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors. this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. Today we're running the Highlander HGN 733 in a setup that I like to call the Goss Lander. Yes, we've got a Goss rifle in our right arm to play fast and loose and if that is not fast and loose enough then we can go ahead and shoot the enemy with quad SRM6 missiles and Artemis for those close range encounters. Now the good thing with this build is that that it really really builds on itself very well. You've got the 15 damage from the Gauss rifle at 680 meters and as soon as you get into brawling range that is when you bring your SRM6s to bear and those well those pick quite a punch. I just didn't say that did I? Oh well. <laughs> I'll probably beep that out later on. So, moving forward here on the Mining Collective, we can see the teammates are pushing around the center. I am already in the middle, which puts me into an advantageous position, because if anybody actually chooses to try and counter us on top, I am in a prime position to counter push that and to dissuade any kind of shots onto my teammates. So, really, really good spot right here. Let's see if we can shoot the Hunchback Foxtrot. Poof! Pop goes the weasel, skip shot with the Gauss rifle straight through the CT. That's what we'd like to see. Let's see, uh, India can't really hit him right now. I think it's time to get lost in between those buildings and wedge ourselves through here and see if we can see anything. For example, our friend over here, the Cyclops. Yeah. Unfortunately, the SRMs didn't quite hit, but that's okay. We can just keep poking him with the SRM6's uh, counterpart, which is the Gauss rifle. And now, hopefully, he should be in range, potentially. Oh, doesn't matter, his big buddies are here. So, we'll just stay up here. I feel that's a good position right now where we can poke some and we can actually make a few good hits happen. Ooh, okay. That is big. That's a Warhawk coming in, large pulses and a Gauss rifle. And... Unfortunately, I'm blocked a little bit from my shots here, but that's fine. We got some good hits in and his arm is very damaged. Okay, so circling around into the enemy's back. That is my plan right now. I'm using the ability on the right hand side to cover my back a little bit. And now we just go in and poof. Okay, that didn't quite hit. Let's go in on the Hellbringer. He's showing us his back. Uh, never mind about that. He's showing us his front again, but that's okay. We'll just keep shooting at him, even if we shoot some of the missiles into the foliage around here or in the, into the ground, but that's fine. That's fine. He's got a new AC-20 though, so we need to be careful not to take too many shots from him. Uh, let's go in again. Oh, he's waiting for me. Okay. Okay. I see what he's doing here. All right. So, let's not poke here again. I've poked quite enough from this position, and if he just keeps standing there, I yeah, also ate a, uh, an artist strike right now. That's fine. We'll just keep going in now. Now the good thing about the Highlander is it's a very, very tanky mech, so you can take a lot of punishment. Left hand side with a Sun Spider down there with a red CT waiting to get picked off. So why don't we oblige him, huh? Why don't we oblige him? Let's see. Can we get into the position to shoot him? Or should I just wait here for a sec? Actually he's coming up. Okay, so he might die right now in a sec. Okay, never mind. They actually won't kill up. Let's see. Poof! I missed. I missed, but that's okay. We got him in the end. Uh, there is uh, the Cyclops from before again. We took out this one side torso, we took out the other side torso, and that is now just one stick clops. Yeah, buddy. Poof! Well, I hit everything except the cockpit. That's fine. He's dead. T-Bit is taking him out. Perfect. So, we'll just stay up here. We're one kill up now. And we need to be a little bit careful. Charlie over there, it's a Fafnir, he's half dead, but he does have one more heavy ghost rifle, so that is nothing to laugh about. Uh, Delta, another Fafnir CT open. Unfortunately, I shot my Gauss rifle into the wall right there. So you need to be sure that you have a lot of clearage on the sides to make use of the Gauss rifle. The arms on the Highlander are very, very wide, as you guys know. But it looks like we're winning this. One Vindicator and then that Fafnir over in the corner. That's all that the enemy still has. Yeah, mediums. Yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna phase me, buddy. Poof! There we go. One target left on the playing field. They know where he's at. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves and show him the way of the Highlander because there can be only one! And TTP misses his Ghost one again. That's okay. GG, well played. The SRM sixes take him out. I like the synergy. I really like the synergy. Like, you don't have any kind of heat problems with this build. Uh, love it. Absolutely love it. For killing those, five assists, two solo kills, four kill most damage dealt. Six components taken out and 786 damage done, huh? Not too shabby, not too shabby. So me and the Viper Buddy both took out the lands on our own. Pretty nice. Jumping into the next game. No, that is not a deja vu. We're back on Mining Collective again. 
I just love that map. I just love it. Okay, pushing in with our teammates and we're pushing Delta 4 right now. I've got a Blood Ass with me. Lots of ECM coverage and there is a Atlas and he is completely out of position. His cockpit is already open. Oh, <laughs> and he's dead because he was running an XL engine. What? Okay. Okay, so that just happened. Never mind. Um, that's how easy you can lose 100 tons. Uh, a, bad positioning. B, uh, running away from the enemy and C, running on an XL Atlas. Okay, fine by me, let's go in on the Warhawk. Double LB-20s need to be steering clear of him a little bit. And look at that, another Highlander. Maybe we can duel it out with him. Okay, uh, I would love to duel it out with him. He's got quad LRM-10s and two medium pulse lasers. He has, he has not a snowball's chance in hell brawling against me. So uh, let's just follow our teammates in. I'm really missing the jump shots on this build, but I kinda needed the tonnage, so... Let's see. Warhawk, hello buddy! Poof! And he's gone. Nice alpha strike damage. Let's move in on the next target. That Shadowhawk looks nice. Oh, are you shooting at me? Okay. Rule number one. You start shooting at me, I start shooting back at you. Especially if you're a Jäger mech. Because I hate Jäger mechs. Oh, the Shadowhawk is still there. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Uh, unfortunately, we shot a lot of missiles into the ground right here. We need to make sure that we clear the ground right now. Okay, perfect. That's gonna Shadowhawk. Yep, that SRM-6 volley actually hit. And now with the Ghost Rifle, pew! Come on. Okay, Highlander's down. That's good. There's a Shadowhawk again. Let's give him a little bit of love from both hands. This is a very Christian build. It gives with both hands. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible joke to make. Okay. Let's go in on the Mad Cat. Lots of medium pulses and ultra AC 10s on the Death Strike. And a dragon coming up. The dragon wanting to breathe fire and brawl with Rag 2s for whatever reason. Only two of them. But that's fine by me. We'll just destroy him in melee. Come on. Poof on the nose. Didn't do anything. Okay, let's hit him again. Okay, well. That's one way to make it easier for me. It's showing me your back. Yep. It's almost dead. One more shot should do it. Poof goes the weasel. All right. Let's keep on walking forward. Eight kills over four right now. One enemy left in Echo 4, one back towards Fox 4. So we can easily now drop in and uh, chase them. It's an Arctic Wolf with Narc and Streaks. That's an interesting build. Yeah, teammate should be able to handle him, no problem. Unless, of course, he walks towards me, in which case I will try to handle him. Let's see. Come on. Oh, that one missed horribly. But at least the Ghost Round got in and took out his arm. Uh, okay, one more and one more. Okay, next arm gone, side torso gone. Okay, well, I had enough fun dismembering the poor active wolf. Let's go in. Two enemy targets left at this point. What is a light mech in Fox 4? He's still over there. And the last one, well, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and try and find this guy. And by the way, guys, if you've noticed, I have been also doing bonus live streams over on Twitch, so. If you, at this point, have me followed on Twitch and have the notifications on to see whenever I'm going live, I would highly suggest to check that out twitch.tv slash therealttb. Go ahead, press that follow button and join us in some live fun. And of course, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. So, we lost one teammate who apparently couldn't duke it out in Fox 4 with the enemy over there. So, maybe. Just maybe I need to lay in the hand here. Or a Gauss Round, let's see. Poof! Yep, that Gauss Round actually went home. It's an Arctic Cheetah. Um, for s okay, okay, so we've got both guys over there. Two light mechs. Alright. So since our teammates are pushing Fox 4, I'm gonna try and push Fox 5 just to cut off their retreat. Uh, teammate is asking for help. He's at 45%, so he definitely will need some help. So let's go ahead and be friendly. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, okay, he's running. Why is his cockpit yellow? <laughs> Must have taken a shot to the head, okay. Yeah, no, he's taking he's getting taken apart right now. But I'm still missing one guy. This is weird. Where's the last guy? Hello? Ah, there we go. Echo 5. A wolfhound, okay. Let's go ahead and see if he keeps hauling with the pack or not. Ah, he's up there. Can we get another gauss round in? Ah. Uh, Charge it up. Nope. Oh, he's dropping down. Okay. Nope. Never mind. He's running into our teammate in Fox 6. We've got him boxed in and he should be falling any second now. By the way, guys, if you like what you're seeing, then go ahead and consider looking at my Patreon page. There's some Patreon exclusive rewards to be taken 
if you so choose. So definitely go ahead and check that out. And I'm still watching that Wolfhound die. Apparently he doesn't want to die. There we go, finally! Okay, well, that didn't take forever to take out two light mechs. That's okay, GG. Nice round, we took the top, we uh, had some good fights in the center, and then we just had to chase down the rest of the guys. Three killing blows, six assists, two solo kills, four kill most damage dealt, 715 damage done with eight components taken out. Another very, very solid round. Again, like I really like this mech. It's a little tough to make work sometimes because you have a very wide spread arm base and uh, those weapon mounts are pretty low slung, but if you can make it work, it is a really nice mech and it has a lot of tanking power and a lot of punching power. Here's the build on screen right now. As you can see, Ghost Rifle in the right arm, Light Engine 285, Double Heat Sinks of course, Artemis Missile Guidance, everything else is standard and of course the quad uh, SM6 is in there as well if you want to, an AMS and some AMS ammo. Go ahead, try out the build, let me know how it goes for you. This has been TTB in the Ghostlander. Thanks for watching, bye bye.